Hi everyone, recording a presentation is something useful, especially if you want to be moderator of yourself. In that case, you can engage much more with the audience, you can answer questions when you run your presentation. Now, in PowerPoint, there is a new option available. There is a new button in the top right corner, Record, and this will allow you to record your presentation. So you can easily include animation, transition, laser pointer, and other tools. Okay, let's get started and I show you every step. Here I have a PowerPoint presentation. Next Saturday, I will be live at this fantastic conference, M365 Saturday, Bangalore, and I will talk about building real-time processes in Microsoft 365. Now I want to record my presentation so I'm able to moderate my session. I can answer questions and I can engage with the audience. Now, in order to start recording my session, I have two options. I can go over this tab, slideshow, and then there is this button, record. Clicking on the drop-down, I can start recording from the current slide or from beginning. Recently, Microsoft has added a button here in the top right corner, record. If I click on this button, a new window shows up. I am now in presenter mode and let me drag now this window that I have in another monitor. Hello, hi everyone. Here I am, I have the webcam available and this is my presentation. So let's start to explore every functionality of this recording mode. Here I have the button to start recording. Here I have my camera. I can turn off on the camera and here the same with my microphone. Now here on this ellipsis icon, I can configure the microphone. I can decide which kind of microphone I want to use during the recording and even the camera. Okay, all good until now. Let me start to show you additional functionality here. At the bottom, we have additional functionality. I can move advance to, to the next slide or I can return to the previous slide. Below, I have the ability to click the laser pointer and now I am moving and presenting. So as you can see in the background, in my presentation, we are seeing this laser pointer moving. Again, I have additional tools. I have the pen, so I can sketch something. I can design, for example, an arrow. And then I can even use an highlighter, so I can point out specific part of my presentation, of my slide, so I can focus and uh, take the attention of, of the audience on a specific part of my slide. I can change the color. And of course, I have also the eraser. I can use the eraser to clean completely my slide. Then on the right, I'm, I'm able to select the background. I can display completely my background or I can select the blue background. Here I have the layout. So this is very important. I'm using now the slide view but I can change, I can use the presenter view. Let me click now on presenter view. What change here? I have my slide here, then on top here on the right, I have next slide, I can see what it's scanning and then below I have my notes. Then again, let me change layout, let me go with teleprompter. This is very useful, so this will allow me to read my notes and uh, it helps you to define and to bring to the next level your presentation if you have to explain difficult concept and you need a bullet list to remember what you talk about. Okay, then this, is, this was the last layout. Here, of course, you can decide the size of the, of the note. You can have a, a bigger notes or smaller. It's up to you. Then let's say that you are ready to record. All you need to do is just click on the record button. Click on record, countdown, start. And now I can start to talk about my session and I can present in front of my audience. 
Hello everyone, this is the Microsoft 365 Saturday Bangalore conference and I am Giuliano, I will talk about building real-time processes in Microsoft 365. Now it's important to know that when you move from a slide, a slide to another, the audio will be not recorded, so you have to wait that the transition or the animation finish completely. Then you can start to talk. Let me move again to the third slide. Here there is a short intro about myself. And finally the agenda. So I will cover these topics. I will talk about web books. We will explore all web books capability. Then in my demo, I'll show you real life use case where you can take advantage by web books. And finally, conclusion. Now, I, let's say that I finish it with my presentation. All I need to do now is just to click on stop recording. Now you will notice that a video will be placed here. Now let me go back. I can move to the third slide, for example, and to the second one. So there is a video of my webcam placed on every slide. Now, if I exit from my presentation and if I click again on record, clicking on the export button available here, I'm able to generate my video for my presentation. Here I have several setup to perform. This is the resolution full HD of my video and this is my and my folder where I will save my video. Clicking on advanced export video, I can define additional option and additional configuration. I can even export my presentation in Ultra HD 4K format, which is very incredible. Then there is the use recorded timings and narration. I can decide don't use it or record another video and so on. When I'm ready, I can click on the button create video. Here I have the message now that the exporting is completed. Now I can click on this message. Here I have a pop-up where I have to confirm if I want to open this video. I will click on OK. And now I can start to talk about my session and I can present in front of my audience. And here we go. This is my video finalized. All right, we have seen in this video how to record your presentation directly in Microsoft PowerPoint. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like and consider to subscribe to support my channel and to see more videos like this one. I hope to see you next time. Bye.